yes good morning students so today we will start a new chapter that is soil so let's see what we can get some new information about soil okay so now let's start in this chapter also we have so many pictures to look into and we will get to know about so many interesting facts right so today we will start our lesson with a picture so yes what you can see in this picture yes it is very easy i will give you 5 seconds to answer in the chat box and then we will discuss what we see what we saw in this picture okay i can see the right responses yes yes most of you are giving the right responses yes okay very good so yes you all answered it correctly so what we can see in this picture is soil right okay and uh, what is the color that you are noticing in this picture of the soil yes it is brownish in color uh, so in soil do you think anything is mixed in it yes anything like you can see some bits are there so what do you think these bits are like in this one we can see this bit this okay they must be the roots of the plants yes very good what else they may be the leaves the pieces of leaves okay yes very good what else some pebbles also are there yes very good so we can say that soil is a mixture of all these things right okay so now from this picture uh like have you got an idea what we are going to study today yes yes very good we are going to study about soil so let's move on ahead okay and we will see so now in front of you like there is a statement written soil formation so how do you think like how the soil is formed we just discussed right now you can write it in your answers in the chat box and then we will discuss like how according to you is soil formed okay yes i can see the right responses yes very good what else what else can you see okay yes very good so yes you all gave the right answer so yes what are the different factors like according to you how is soil formed yes as we talked about like soil is a mixture of many different things so yes soil so soil is formed with the help of leaves and it is also containing some roots of the plant and it al also having some pebbles and water also okay yes very good so these are the something that helps in soil formation right okay so what we are going to study to now is yes as you all mentioned it earlier that we are going to study soil so let's see and what we what more we can get to know about soil okay so these are some of the facts so let's see soil forms the upper surface of the earth right upper surface you have to remember which surface of earth is soil forming it is the upper surface of the earth and where what happens at the upper surface where life thrives and life thrives what do you uh, what do you think this line means to say where life thrives yes where we live like we live on the top layer of the earth right okay what else uh, who else lives in the top layer yes there are plants who live there are animals who live yes very good and is the base of all the agriculture so yes what all things we got to know about soil yes first we got to know about soil forms the upper surface of the earth yes and what is the function of the upper surface the it helps the life to thrive in it okay and what else is the function of soil it is the base of all the agriculture what uh, what does this last statement means that it is base of all agriculture it means that all the crops that we eat right the fruits the vegetables the different crops like wheat rice they all grow on this soil so that's why it is a base of all agriculture okay so now are you clear with the first line what does this first line means to say yes okay yes very good so yes. so now coming to the second point due to the physical and chemical weathering of rocks 
So how does the soil formation takes place? Yes, it takes place due to the physical and chemical weathering of rocks. Weathering here means breaking of rock due to the different weather conditions, right? Yes, very good. So yes, you all answered it correctly. Now moving to the third point, uh, there are different types of soil, right? You must have seen that some soils are brown in color, some are grayish in color, some are black in color, and some are also red in color, right? So these are some different types of soil. So what all things you got to know about soil? That it is the upper surface of the earth where life thrives and is base of all agriculture. Now, second point says, it is formed due to the physical and chemical weathering of the rocks and there are different types of soil. So see, we got to know about soil so many points. Let's move ahead and see what else we can see. So now first we will discuss one curiosity question and then we will move to our main question. So yes, the curiosity question are, what are the different uses of soil according to you now? As you know so many points about soil now, so what do you think? Okay, plants grow on it. Yes, very good. And what else? We are getting fruits and vegetables. Okay, yes. Plants grow on it, so we are getting wood from it. Yes, very good. And what else? What else we are getting? And soil is also used in making homes. Yes, in construction work it is used. Yes, very good. So you all gave the right answer. So there will be a clapping for you all. Okay. So now coming to the last main question. There are different types of soil differing based on the geological composition, climate, rainfall the area receives. So do you think the statement is true or false? For this, I will give you five seconds and then you have, then we will discuss the right answer. You can, till the time you can write your answers in the chat box. Okay, yes, I can see the right responses. Yes, very good. So yes, what is the right response here? Yes, you all answered it correctly. It is true. So here our first topic for today ends, right? So now we will move on to our second topic. So let's see what our second topic is. You have to tell me your, tell me the second topic that we are about to study, right? So first we will move. So yes, <clears throat> this is a picture and what can you see in this picture? You have to first observe it for five to 10 seconds and then we will discuss, right? Okay, till the time, if you find any point that you want to say and, and you, you think it is important, you can write it in the chat. Okay, I can see some right responses. Okay, yes, very good. Okay, there is humus, there is water, there is clay, sand and gravel. So yes, so you all are saying that these are the different layers of soil. Yes, very good. Okay, what else? Okay, gravels contain all the stones and pebbles of the soil. Okay, very good. As these are heavy, so it is in the bottom. Yes, what else? And above gravel, what layer is there? There is sand. And above sand, which layer is there? There is clay. Yes, very good. And what else? What all layers are there? Water and humus. Yes, so humus, what do you think this humus is for? You must have heard it many times till now that there is a soil, uh, soil is having a very important layer, the topmost layer that is humus. So what function do you think this humus plays? Yes, it provides fertility to the soil so that plants can grow on them. Yes, very good. Okay. Yes, you all answered it correctly. So now, based on this picture, what do you think we are going to study today? Yes, very good. We are going to study the composition of soil. Like what all different layers the soil contains, right? As you saw in the picture, so now we will see these soil uh, in more detail, these layers in more detail. So humus, there is first the humus, then there is water, then there is clay, sand and gravel, right? So what do you think the humus function is? It provides fertility to the soil. Yes, very good. And water provides nourishment 
to the soil okay moisture to the soil yes it helps the plants grow yes very good and what do you think is the function of the clay region clay region means clay means it will stick together i think something will be related to this point yes it will stick the soil together right and make it a little bit hard so that it does not close away quickly yes very good and what about sand yes what is the proper uh, function of this sand layer yes sand uh, the function of the sand layer is that it will allow the water to seep down to the underground right to the gravel and there the water will be collected and gravel layer what do you think the gravel layer contains small pebbles and gravels yes very good so now you all answered it correctly now we will move on ahead and we will see one of the curiosity questions right okay so yes moving on to our next slide let's see the question is what will happen if any layer of the soil is missing according to you like uh, like say if humus layer is missing what do you think will happen the plants will not grow right the soil will lose its fertility okay what else what uh, what would happen if water is missing then the soil will become dry yes very good and nothing will grow on it okay what else uh, okay so now you have all answered it correctly we will move on to our next question so the last question for this topic is what is the topmost layer of the soil yes we saw different layers so what according to you is top, topmost layer i will give you 5 seconds and then we will discuss the right answers till the time you can write your answers in the chat box okay yes i can see the right responses yes very good so yes you all answered it correctly it is humus very good so now we will move on ahead and again there is a picture what you have to do is you have to observe this picture for 5 to 10 seconds and then you have to share your observations like what you observed in this picture yes weathering is happening the breaking down of rocks as you can see so what all things are contributing to the uh, breaking of rocks what all things yes you can write it in the chat box yes what is the first thing yes sun is helping in the breaking down of rock what else the wind right and what else the rain yes very good you all answered it correctly so what is happening in this picture weathering of rocks right or the breaking down of rocks so from this picture what do you think we are going to study now the weathering process yes you all answered it correctly now we will move on ahead and see some more information right what we are going to study yes you all answered it correctly it is weathering so let's see the detailed process of weathering and what does it mean so yes weathering as you all know it is the breaking down of the rocks right and several factors are involved in this weathering process right what were the factors in the pictures like it was sun it was wind and it was water as you all mentioned it so let's see some more details right so there is water ice acids salts plants animals and changes in the temperature these all are the agents of weathering agents of weathering means they help in the process of weathering not just those three that we saw in the picture but these also help in weathering right yes very good so now are you clear with the concept of weathering and what happens and what are the different factors involved in the weathering process yes i can see your responses that yes you all are clear so now we will move on to our curiosity question this time so let's see what would happen if there is no weathering on earth yes now this is something that you have to think right okay so yes you can give your answers now yes okay i can see the right responses yes if there is no weathering on the earth then there will be no formation of soil and if there is no soil we will not get our food right so yes you all answered it correctly 
Okay, so now moving on to our second question. What you have to do is you have to name some of the agents of weathering. What were the uh, agents that were in the pictures? Like there was sun, wind and water. And what else we mentioned earlier? There was ice, acid and these different factors, right? So yes, you all answered it correctly. Very good. So now coming on to the recapitulation part. We Today we read about soil and the different composition of the soil and we also studied about the weathering process. Okay, so now coming on to the homework part. These two questions you have to solve in your notebook and then there is an activity and you have to perform this activity, right? Okay, so I will end my class here now. If you have any doubt, you can ask it in the chat box and I will clear it. If not, then we will end our class. Okay, so I see there is no doubt. Okay, so now I will end my class here. Thank you for attending and we will meet in our next class with some interesting topic. Thank you.